Documents have been discovered that belong to a Church of Scotland missionary who died in the Auschwitz concentration camp. Jane Haining is the only Scot to be officially honoured for giving her life to help Jews in the Holocaust. Elizabeth Quigley has her story. This was very exciting to open up the box and find this envelope with Jane Haining's last will and testament. Her handwritten will meticulously lists what's to happen to her belongings. The wireless to remain part of the home, her typewriter watches, her fur coat. In 1932, she left her home in Dumfrieshire to be a Church of Scotland missionary in Budapest, working with Jewish children. As the Nazis swept through Europe, the Kirk urged her to come home, but she refused, saying the children needed her. In 1944, she was arrested on suspicion of espionage. Importantly, uh, typed up report from the Bishop of the Reformed Church in Hungary about... And this discovery sheds more light on a final the, month. ...and trying to get Jane out of uh, the, the prison before she was then moved on to uh, Auschwitz. She was so committed to being in Hungary and so part of the Hungarian people that she declared, I would stick to my post no matter what. She died in Auschwitz later that year. Today, work continues in Hungary. We've seen over the last 12 months particularly a large number of migrants and refugees crossing Hungary. Um, and the response of the church locally, especially St Columbus Church of Scotland in Budapest, uh, to offer um, accommodation, educational support and friendship to some of the refugees, um, it really kind of connects us with some of the work that Jane Haining did all those years ago. All these newly discovered items are being placed in the National Library of Scotland, to ensure the memory of Jane Haining lives on. Elizabeth Quigley reporting Scotland, Edinburgh.